come from a bit of a rough upbringing here in Poland. I am um, surrounded by drugs and alcohol all the time, and then eventually I went into that myself, and it took. I was in that scene for five years or so. Um, just let on, got worse, into gambling, and then eventually I hit rock bottom. Uh, I overdosed when I was 19, and um, wake up in the hospital bed, and it was enough for me. I was in rehab the next the next week, and from there I've I've turned my life right around. I've been clean and sober now two and a half years. I've got a daughter, and um, I'm working. There's not many people that I know from here that's done that. Culture is the one thing that saved me. Going out, cultural camps, learning about culture. Um, that's how it started, and then eventually I've been going out, casual working, surveying, just getting to see the stuff not many people get to see. Burials, sacred grounds, all that sort of stuff. It's opened my mind up and helps shape me into the better person that I can become. Learning all the values about who us black fellas are. Why do you want a job as the manager of the AIM program? Um, I see my community struggle a lot. That's the same effects that I've had with drugs and alcohol, neglect, all that sort of stuff. And I feel like there needs to be someone for the kids, the younger generation. And I love doing that. Now I try and be there for them just getting them to school, sort of bribing them, telling them I'm giving them money to go to school, but knowing that the parents, it's not that they don't care, it's they don't have the sort of motivation to be doing it. And I know what path that leads down for the younger generation, it's into the same, like they're just following their footsteps and it's sad to see. So I want to be able to at least try and change the path that they're going down. Yeah, there'd just be a lot of talking, explaining what the program's about, trying to get them focused into what I'm saying, because I know it's hard with kids. Yeah. They like to sidetrack. It's just about bringing them in, helping them understand, and then wanting to give it a shot. What about the mentors? Do you reckon you could recruit some mentors? Yeah. Wouldn't. It'd be easier than the kids, I think, getting the mentors. Especially ones that don't like the way the community is with the younger generation. Giving them that chance to break away from where they are, where they're at. There's always good people that want to make change. And if I get 50 out of all the people that live in Wagga, it's only a small step. What steps do you reckon you'd take? Go yarn with them and then and then how would you get them to training? How would you actually get yarns to turn into real action? Um, I think it's like the selling point. The yarns would be telling them about sort of having that relationship with them where they're not just coming back for the program. It's because we've, we've got this bond now after having a yarn and then they're excited to come back. It's sort of like, it's like trapping them, but in a good way. Try and better their life. Fucking sick, man. Sort of like being a parent. You have your shit days where everything's just 
clapped and you hate it. But then it, there's those little moments that prove you why you love doing it. So why can you be the next AIM program manager in Wagga Wagga? I just want to make that difference, I suppose. Get out, get amongst all the kids. Show them that there's a lot more to look forward to than what everyone's seeing. And get, get in, get that education move forward with your life instead of staying in a stagnant position for a long time. Be a shitload of persuading and <clears throat> sort of building that trust to make them believe that it can be done, because I know for me personally it was hard. I had a lot of people saying, um, like, you got a bright future ahead of you, all this and that, but it's hard to believe where I feel like I can make people see that and help them understand that there is that better future.